Oh, yes. That cools us down. It makes our drinks so much better, refreshing. And it's um, all... You, you it is shiver. delicious. I know, right? Um, <laughs> this is a fascinating segment. Trust me, it's not just frozen water. That's right. That, Dan Kohler is here to explain, really, what goes on other than just frozen water. Yeah, I mean, I think we uh, take ice for granted a lot, don't we? Like, it, yeah. it's in all of our drinks, and we never really think much about it. But actually, ice is a really interesting chemical compound. And if we want to understand it more, we need to uh, actually look at the building blocks, which is H2O. I mean, and, and think about ice for a minute. It can be a glacier, or it can be an ice cube. So it really looks so different, in, depending on its environment. And this is what H2O looks like. One hydrogen atom and two oxygen atoms. Now. When H2O is in its liquid phase, there's almost no space between those molecules, and it's really dense, and they're loose. This is what water looks like. But as you lower the temperature, the bonds between those mm -hmm. molecules actually get stiffer and stiffer, and they press each other away until what you've got is mm -hmm. an ice crystal. So this is what H2O looks like as it freezes. The, the molecules actually line up. They push each other away and you get this beautiful crystal formation. And that's actually what's happening as you freeze. So yeah. in the water, if I was looking at a crystal right now, it would be one of the... You see it. Yeah, yeah. you see it yeah, inside. Can, can I ask you, Dan, why... Why does... I've never understood... <laughs> Go for it, Debbie. I'm going to say it. I don't know. I hope you Hit all you feel the same. Why does ice float? Shouldn't it sink? All right, it's sort of a strange... It doesn't uh, make sense. You think something right. this it's heavy it and solid bottom, should go right? to the bottom. That's heavy. That, this is, to, and, and that this, is even heavier. Believe it or not, when we started out, this block was 300 pounds. Why does that and float? It, so as you press each other away, now look about this. This is water. It's very dense. Even though it's liquid, right, the molecules are very close to each other. But when it freezes and they push each other away... There's a lot of space in ice. In the same way that a hot air balloon rises above regular air, because the air molecules are farther away from each other, they are less dense. And ice is less dense than water. The molecules have pushed each other away in order to freeze. Okay. That's fascinating. So now, <clears throat> some of it's clear. Exactly. Yes. Like, that's clear. Why is there, like, the white surface kind of thing? You can get all... Even cubes. I mean, you can get really incredible colors in ice. So sometimes it's cloudy, and sometimes it's kind of... Uh -huh. yucky looking but yeah. actually I went to Iceland last year with my mother and I want to roll in a couple of these pictures because you can see you know ice can be bright blue ice can yeah. be ice oh can gosh, be gray. that's not reflective <laughs> off of something that's no I mean the inside of that ice is blue it's got these oh blue goodness. veins and what's actually happening there is that these ice crystals begin to form so right here we've got one ice crystal and it's nice yeah. because everything is forming in one direction yeah but what if another ice crystal begins to form in a different direction. Row, row. Suddenly you've got competing angles and that reflects the light completely differently. So you get gray, you get blue, you get white. Do you know what I always thought? I always thought that if the ice was kind of gray and the icing, I thought it was bad water. I said, this is disgusting, <laughs> it looks dirty, what's wrong with my freezer? Like this, like That's, this. I thought something was yeah. wrong with my freezer. Like these right here. Yeah, and yeah. I thought, right. and I would smell them. I keep smelling them. <laughs> Something's yeah. wrong. We need baking soda in the freezer. Yeah. Now, what's happening here? It's white in the center because all water has some air naturally dissolved in it. And as it freezes in an ice cube tray like this, it's very thin. There's no insulation. It's going to freeze from every direction at once, and that air has no place to escape. So it traps the air right in the center. So this is white in the middle, and you get those cracks because yeah. there's a bunch of air bubbles in the middle. So how do you freeze it to look completely clear like the one behind? If you, you want to get well, a that was clear this morning. It really was. Now it's. Clear. It's starting to get I mean, a little murky a because the, uh, the surface is interacting. It's melting in the refreezing and melting and refreezing infinitely. Oh, okay. Now, if you want to get a beautiful, clear block of ice to have a snow cone party at home this summer, it's, it couldn't be easier, actually. I've got over here a, uh, just an igloo cooler filled with water. And the reason we're using this is because we want to control the direction in which your ice is freezing. Like I said, in that ice cube tray, it's freezing from every direction at once. But when we do this and we put it with the lid off in the freezer, it's going to freeze from the top all the way down, like a beautiful clear lake in Minnesota. That's how you get this clear ice. And after, is that because the cooler is insulated? The cooler is insulated, so it's, gonna, so it's going to control the temperature from the top down. And so that okay. air actually gets trapped all the way at the bottom. And you can see, it's really fun, actually. After two days, what you have... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, I'm not joking. You get this beautiful, wow. clear yeah. block of ice. That's a nice and, block of ice. <laughs> and you can see, actually, at the bottom, <laughs> this is where that air was trapped. So as the as the water froze from one end, one end down, it pushed all that air down. You can see that. That's why there's a hole in there. That was exactly was this. Air this was all the air that was left in the ice. Now remember, when you're freezing things, you've oh. got to leave room because, like I said, ice floats. As those molecules press each other away, this is why ice. Ex this is why water expands when you freeze it. Right? If you fill it all the way to the top, it's going to mm -hmm. overflow because those molecules are doing this to each other. 
That's why you don't so trying to get out. Sodas. Exactly, exactly, because it's totally right. sealed up. I see a problem. Tell me about I it. I don't have a glass big enough for that cube. Well, so <laughs> we'll work on that another time, okay, Mark. Okay, fantastic. Good information. Thank you so yeah. much, Dan. <laughs> more on his website. The man's a genius. Get to entertain us with a block of ice. Uh, all right, we're going to come favorite back. Now. We're going to play one of our favorite new games. Woo. It's called Five Second Rule. Next. You can make Did some you? more.